Hi and welcome to the third video of the channel. Today we are building a battery box for the electric ATV. So we've been uh, working on, on it for uh, a while actually, cheating a bit. Um, and here, next to it, we have a small uh, mock-up of the uh, of battery pack that we made. Um, so it's, it resembles 32 lithium ion uh, phosphate cells. And actually, right over here, we have the, the actual cells which uh, arrived from, um, from China. These are uh, very core, uh, the brand called very core, um, and yeah, they are 3.2 volts uh, nominal um, potential, and um, they have a capacity of 90 amp hours and a, a C rating of three, which means that they can discharge with a a current that is three times the capacity um, so this means that one of these um, cells can deliver 270 amps um, so when we connect all 32 cells in series they are going to be situated somewhat uh, like this in like a shifting pattern from plus minus plus minus and then we flip this around and then we just connect connect the cells in series and then finally it should look like uh, like this where we end up with the 32 cells so this is gonna constitute uh, a battery pack with 100 uh, volts uh, potential and uh, 90 amp hours capacity and then the discharge current is the, the 270 amps when we we pull that um, with the ATV so today the goal is to to rivet in these aluminum panels that we have for the, for the battery box so these are gonna like fill out all the the holes um yeah so basically doing the I think this the wrong way doing all the riveting and then we need to uh, to find out a way to fasten the the lid and uh, We've bought these toggle clamps, I believe they're called. So it's gonna sit like this and like this. So some, somewhere around here. And then the idea is that we will try and, and weld it in place instead of uh, rivet in place. So, yeah.
So now we have done the riveting, as you can see around here in the edge. Um, and the reason why we have turned the rivets with the with the long side out is that if you look from the inside, when we need to place the the battery packs, is to keep as keep it uh, as flush as possible, so uh, so they don't uh, pierce the bottom of the of the cells. So um, this is the principle for the yeah for the rest of the panels as well. Okay, so this is the box that we have uh, finished up now with all the aluminum plates. So now we are welding on the toggle clamps. Um, so here's one that we have welded on. Um, yeah, it's not so much to do it, but we just need to, to do it with the other ones as well. Okay. Now the battery box uh, is finished and the, the toggle clamps has been uh, welded on. This is what it looks like now. Um, and the last thing that we need to do this will be in another video, but we will uh, line the inside with this um, foam to protect the batteries from vibrations when they uh, jumping around inside the box. So we will buy some uh, spray glue, spray on the inside and then cut out uh, pieces of this and then line up the inside. Yeah, and close it, see if it fits. <coughs> Now the battery box has been put in the in the ATV, so uh, we can see how it uh, how it fits. And uh, we had to cut some of the, um, the of the chassis up here, and we will need to to make two new pieces that will weld on to the bottom of the frame. Um, yeah, this is the a mock-up of the of the motor. Uh, to the correct size, it's just a bit more easy that we can move move it around and check if uh, if everything fits. But it's going to be situated somewhere like this, and then we will have uh, the belt transmission going in there. But uh, more on that will come up. But uh, yeah, for now this is how it looks.